coffee break with Harold. And just like that, here we are with yet another episode of your favorite show, Coffee Break, right here with me, Harold. Now, guess what? On today's episode, we have one gentleman that I have a lot of respect for. This is somebody that we've all grown to love. He's warmed himself into our hearts, and today we are privileged to have him seated on our hot seat. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the one and only Sugar Daddy with us. Kitty, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to have you. My pleasure. It took you. a whole village to get you here. You know that. <laughs> Charlie, man, no, they get time today. I've been doing a lot of back to back, you know, shows, running around doing promo and stuff, but I'm mm, happy to be here, mm, man. I'm happy mm, that I finally. Mm, mm. Made Thanks for it, coming. Man. Thanks for having Thanks. me. A lot of a lot of Ghanaian musicians have suffered backlash from yeah. from from I don't like to call them fans, but let's just say from the public, yeah. right? Um, comparing them to some of the international, oh, yeah. you know, the international stars yeah. and all that, you know, yeah. trying to belittle their efforts most yeah. of the time. And yeah. you have you have been a victim of that. Oh, what do you think? What do you really think Ghanaian musicians aren't doing right? We're not doing anything wrong. Or we're doing everything we can with what we have. I mean. Let me put this out there. We want the best for ourselves as well. I mean, sometimes on social media, like I put, um, let me use an example. About three days ago, I posted that uh, my Touch It song has gone to anti Latin America. Mm. And people from there, Colombia, and they are all jamming to the song. And then people were bashing me. A few people, actually, not several, but people were bigging me up. But a few people were like, yeah, but you are here doing nothing about it. Go there and go and feature yeah. Jibov and go yeah. and feature Bad Bunny. I'm like, you don't want that for me more than I want that for me. Like, I want that. I've, whatever you think I should be doing, I think I should be doing it. But everything is not just word of mouth. We don't just use our mouth to say, I want this and I want this. And I want to dance to do this. It's expensive. It takes money to get money. You invest money to get money. And that is actually one very, very huge part of our industry that is a problem, you know. When it comes to the music itself, we are making amazing music. The way people make us feel like the songs we are making are trash and we're not making good standard music. The songs that my colleagues are making in the industry are amazing. Maybe, yes, we don't have the plugs in the right places that will push us and suggest us to people and put our songs in places that maybe we don't have that. But when it comes to the music itself, I think we're doing amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so, so I always say this because you know you realize that mo so it's always easy when people are yeah. sitting b behind and yeah, it's always easy things, right? as a as a football. As they get on the field, it's like football. When you are watching on TV. Ah, you should have done. You should have done that. But if you are there, you, they give you the ball yeah. right now. You realize that it's a whole different ball game. Yes, you get me. And there's yeah. a lot of things that are happening behind the scenes that we can't always disclose to the public, mm -hmm. you know. But mm -hmm. people are working hard, like under trying to secure themselves in places to get their music heard in places. People are, I know people are working hard, but sometimes people should give us patience. You know, it's not a race. Some, somebody might be doing it now. Somebody might be successful now. All we can do is be happy for them while we wait for our turn, while we work hard to wait for our turn. You get me? So. You seem not to ever get used to social media trolling. Oh, yeah, yeah. The thing that you can never get, you can, you can deal with it as time goes on. But always you get new people saying new things. New things that will always get you to react. Mm. But, but I don't think I don't think um, I don't think our Nigerian counterparts suffer any less. Oh, they do. Yeah, you they, know, they, but they suffer. Part. They don't. They don't. I don't think yeah. they, they they come out to address them or to to respond to them as much yeah. as as much as example you yeah. would. Yeah. Do, do you agree to that? I agree because you know sometimes in life, eh, let me put it in the most understandable way. If Maybe you set goals for yourself, right? And you, within yourself, within your rights, you know that the goals you set for yourself, you've met them. Mm. Your bank account is looking amazing. Sometimes certain things, excuse me to say, bullshit doesn't get to you when you're rich. Mm. You know, sometimes mm. when you're mm. rich and I you're doing it. well in life. But you know, sometimes some of us that we are still trying, we feel like yeah. we always have to. Yeah. Sometimes I have to yeah. even hold myself yeah. back because yeah. the explanation you are giving to people, you know, Sometimes they don't, they don't need to hear it. Just mm. focus and work hard. So I've told myself that, you know, I'm done complaining. I mean, unless somebody has said something that I need to respond to, I don't have to respond to anything. Mm. I see trolls every day. Even this morning, I've seen some. Scroll past, move on, keep working hard. You see people that are laughing at you. When something good happens for you, there'll be the same people that will come like, yeah, 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 I was there with him. I was day one, but... You know, it's, mm. it is what it is. Mm. It will happen nonetheless. So, because at times when I read some of the comments and the and the replies you give to some yeah. of the trolls, and I wonder, I mean, it it sounds like you know you're never used to um, yeah, you never a negative to. talk, yeah. right? I get it, but 
did you have did you have a, a certain childhood that was more like um you know a pampered child kind nah, of i didn't have, i wasn't pampered at all like mm. On contrary to what people might look at you and judge like oh well so be a db or enjoy mm. life but on mm. the contrary that's not me at all mm. i've gone through some stuff that you know have actually shaped who i am today like made me what like, I like am. what i mean i don't even want to get into some of them because to be honest i don't like to i'm tired of talking about them mm. and sometimes when you talk about them people still have formed what they want to think about you now they, they feel like you you are pampered you you got it easy and so it's, i mean i know what i went through and i don't feel like talking to them talking to talking about it again because mm. people are tired of hearing it and mm. people won't even believe it anyway mm. but even if somebody is pampered it doesn't still give people the right to you know i feel like sometimes the public they forget that as much as people are celebrities they're also human you know mm. they don't give room for error like people can make mistakes the fact that he's a celebrity doesn't mean he's perfect you know he can say the wrong thing as an interview he can make the wrong gesture he can do something wrong like he's human like all of us you know i think sometimes we should give room for error but but Kitty, i don't know i think that sometimes that 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 makes us that makes us who we are because yeah. if people are not saying anything and trust me if everybody is to say something that is directed in, yeah. in one of side course, it's course. going to be it's very boring, boring. Yeah, and there'll, course, there'll not be any talkability course, about you of course of so course. i don't know i know it's hard i really do know it's hard but sometimes i feel that is really what makes you kitty i mean in that this this part of me like replying to trolls i don't remember the last time i really really replied to trolls maybe once a while but i used to be sometimes to do a lot like i used to always get where why this person why this person say but as you said growing up as like an artist as a human you get to realize that this is all part of it like you said i'll be really worried if everybody is saying something good about me you know i'll mm. be really worried it means people are either scared to say their mind or there's something wrong you mm. know so mm. like you said having a lot of people dislike you makes the people that like you even like you more mm. because then they defend you and they say ah this guy is this guy is that and like you said it's all part of it so mm. now i'm learning to embrace all of it as mm. it comes you know? mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. would you say would you say losing your dad at the tender age you know kind of kind of planted some some form of hurting you that makes you you know want to reject anything that comes across as negative or um, hurt I think it's a more human thing, you know. And I'm I grew up as a worry. I worry about everything. Mm. I think I got it from my mom. Okay. We worry about the least thing. Like if maybe coming to this interview, I said I want a coffee, right? And then they come and put the mug there and it's tea instead of coffee. I'll be worried, oh where is the coffee? And I'll be thinking over think like that's who I'm I naturally am. If I'm doing a show and I know that there are people who are organizing the show, I still want to get involved, like, hey, have you called a pianist? Have you called a drama? Like I'm always trying to like and my mind is always in overplay, overload, always trying to overdo things. And it's naturally who I am. I worry about everything. I worry about things not being where they are supposed to be. Why is this thing not doing? Why this is? I worry about so many things. Mm -hmm. I have a team who worry about song promo, music videos, but somehow I always still find myself still trying find to. Yourself. It's just who I am. I can't. Would you so, say you're a perfectionist? Yes, yes. I want things to be. Like if I'm making a song and maybe the intro, I said A. And then when the edit comes, the A has become O. Mm. And it comes, oh, why mm. is it O? Mm. Like, that's just who I am, mm. you know? And it's it makes me who I am as a person. So I, I don't think I'll even change that. Because I'll be worried if now I wake up one morning and I'm not worrying about things. That'll be very troublesome, mm. you know? Mm. So. Th that, that being said, what has been your lowest moment ever since, you know, you became Kitty? Uh, hmm. Lowest moment. I don't think I've experience so low moments there I, definitely has been that i mean they have been you didn't I'm, I'm trying to, to remember okay. some because that the performance didn't go well or there was you know a scandal or uh, low moments no 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 i mean most of them it has to do with people public again saying things where they don't know you know the public always feel like they know you more than you know yourself so maybe when there is something there there's a news item when you read the comments sometimes they are saying it like they live with you and mm. you know why you are doing something and you know and some of them they get me sad because i realize like some of you you don't have to go out of your way to say something bad about somebody constructive criticisms are always welcome i like people to tell me oh this thing you should have done it like this or oh, next time i love it but there's constructive criticism and there is hatred you know some of the comments are quoted with so much hatred and sometimes i'm like What's the craziest thing you've heard about yourself? Oh, uh, craziest thing, craziest thing. 
Really yeah, think I've heard so many, but I can't describe them. <laughs> so many. I hear things about myself. Like, like example, mm. for instance, like it's something that you heard about yourself that even you know told you about yourself. <laughs> um, to be honest, I can't say it yet. No, no go no, ahead. No, no, no. It's, it's something I don't. I don't have to say it. Yet, but if but you've heard many, which one can you share? Which, which one can you share? I mean, it's always you can hide about, the names. It's about sometimes. Mostly, it's about girls. Mostly, yeah. Mostly, it's about oh, then oh, Kidi has left with this person. Oh, Kidi and this person. Oh, Kidi and this person. Kidi and, this person. and I'm like, eh, hey, people know pie. But I mean, why are people always quick to associate associate you with one girl or the other? I don't know. To be honest, if today I post a picture and there's a girl standing by me. Automatically, people think, oh, kiddie, this guy is doing something. If today, today, I take a picture with Julie Drew, <laughs> or they will say kiddie and Julie Drew are doing things, you know, it's just what people's minds, how people's minds are set up. But kiddie, like they said, there's no smoke without fire entirely, right? Sometimes do do you ascribe to that? Sometimes there's smoke without fire. <laughs> Not my electric smoke. There's no fire. <laughs> there's no fire. But, but because I, I, knew, I see all these these publications, I see all these things yeah. on social media, and it I wonder is what it is, that you know? what really could because why not the next artist? Why Kitty and not the next artist? I'm happy that they will say about like you said talkability. If people want to associate everything with me, hey, that's fine. Mm. I mean, I know myself. I know what I do. I know who I'm actually with, who I'm not with. So when I hear these things. I'm like, if I live is a lie, I don't even like, I don't even bother myself, mm, you know. Mm, yeah. mm. And 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 we've had, I've seen, I've seen set, set certain comments on your on your on your social media about um, your view on relationships and marriage and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, that one was another some. one that was sticking out of, you know. What did they say uh, about Kiddy says he can't be loyal to one woman, blah blah. Did you ever say that? Nope. Did you is imply it, that? See, what I said was, so they asked that, when will I get married? I'm like, oh, I'm waiting for the right woman to come to, like, me. When I meet the right woman, I'll know this is the right woman. And so, but why have I not met the right woman? I'm like, oh, if I wake up every morning, I always, like, every time I'm on social media, scrolling on Instagram, Twitter, I always see beautiful women. I'm like, listen, there are so many beautiful women in there. Well, like, every day I see beautiful women and I shout her. So, and I, you see, you know, some when you are in the, in the speech, you, you say something and you pass, like, a light note joke, mm. like, Hey, I don't even know how people are even loyal. Like, mono, I don't know even how monogamy works. And then I came back to emphasize the fact that, but something I want to do one day is get married and settle down. Mm. So until I find whoever I'm, whoever I'm supposed to be with, I'll wait till I find. And then they took that light note joke and made it the headline as Kitty says, he, can't, he doesn't know how to be loyal. Mm. Mm. He doesn't know how monogamy works. And people were, and always the insults will follow. Because, Do you think yeah. there's something there's something like the perfect woman or the right woman? No, no, no. Woman? There's nothing like that. So if you say right woman... I mean, if I say right, right woman, I don't mean perfect. Okay, so what is the right woman for you? Right woman is just basically finding somebody that you know you can literally wake up to every day. It doesn't matter. Looks matter sometimes. But ultimately, it has to be somebody that you know what. Listen, like you said, everybody has faults. I have my faults. Every woman I have, I'm going to meet has their faults. I just need to find somebody that I know that this is your fault. I can actually live with it for the rest of my life. Otherwise, there'll be fire on the mountain. Because people, like everybody, have everybody has faults. Mm. But if you go and find some of these faults that you cannot live with, you always have problems. What is one fault of a woman that you cannot deal with? Cloud chasing. Meaning, women that are more pre. Mm. They want to be seen everywhere. They want to be talking to everybody. Like slave queens. Oh, I don't. No. Want to, I want to use that term, but it's like, imagine. Is that not what is that not what slay queens are, are defined as these days? Uh, I don't know what they are defined. Okay, as. but, but cloud you know, chasing. imagine like you go. Mm. You, I'm, I've gone to a club with like a girl, right? You ask and her then, to sit here before you know if she's somewhere else. And then maybe I'm hanging with my celebrity mm. friends, like Howard is there, Joey B is there, yeah. Promise is there. Then yeah. she wants to talk to everybody. everybody. She wants to. Be, oh, I don't like women like that. Okay, a okay. woman that talk too much. I like a woman that is respectful, who is intelligent. Like, who are fit, but you have, you are smart, you have sense. You get me? Sense is very important. A lot mm. of people don't go for sense because of buttocks and breasts, but mm. as you follow the buttocks, follow sense. Because mm. a woman that has sense, she knows how to attack situations, how not to escalate situations, how mm. to handle stuff. So, mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. so, so would you say that um, um, you being single means that you haven't found anybody close to that? Because there are I'm actually women... not, no, I'm actually not looking. That's the thing. If I was looking, I'm sure I probably would have found Because I see all these ladies who's, who keep, you know, tagging you in their posts, oh, yeah, their yeah, videos yeah. and all that. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, you should have found one then. Because if that is the criteria for you, then it shouldn't no, be so hard to find. In the videos, I'm only seeing their beauty and that's their surface level. I don't know You don't who, enter what their DM, you don't Apply their DMs. No, no, no. I don't. I try not to because if I do that, then I'll never have time for my other things. Because if I say I'm going to focus on the people that DM, it means my whole day I'm going to be on my phone. 
chatting girls, talking about breasts and ass. And, mm. you know, it's, it's not what it is. Surface level beauty is nice. Mm. But I don't know what you are as a person, who you are, your values, the things you believe in. And if you follow social media, you follow Botos and you end up in a ditch. You know? Do you get inundated with a lot of, a lot of, you know, videos, sex, um, nude videos, nude pictures and all that? D does it get overwhelming? Or it's something that is under control? It's not, I would say overwhelming because, like I said, if you're in a public light and you want to accept everything that comes with it, that means people will bash you, people will love you, people will say what they think about you. It also involves people randomly sending you sometimes nudes and it's all part of you know the industry especially when you ask them to send you nudes in your song then the song i wasn't asking myself <laughs> i was asking for the mandem you know i was saying no, the no, you were asking for me no, it's good. Me, me one thing about me is i hardly ask for yeah. things i hardly ask for nudes i not hardly i never do okay. i'll never ask you same you know but they get sent to you anyway because grace because you know, the you grace the, of god you is, are the sugar that <laughs> we know the grace of god is enough for me so. <laughs> The grace of God is enough for you. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. cool, cool, I cool, mean, cool. If they send, I always look, you know. Mm, I'll look and move mm, on, but I'll not engage. Mm, no, like, mm, no, nothing mm, like that. Because, mm. I mean, it seems to me that I mean, with all the pressure and some of the comments that I've read from you, it looks like marriage is not something that you, you ever want to consider. Oh, no, no, at all. It's something I actually want. I'm looking forward to, mm. you know, having a woman that I'll spend the rest of my life with, build a family with. But I'm in no rush, you know. Um, like I said, right now we're sports with choice. Men every day see beautiful women. Women every day see handsome men. So if you follow the rush and I want this, you end up getting into the wrong situation. So I'm taking my time. I believe when the time is up, when the right person is introduced into my life, everything will fall in place. So, Ladies and gentlemen, we're hanging with Kitty right here on Coffee Break. We'll be back after this. Stay tuned. It's Coffee Break with Harold. Right, Kitty. So, talk to me. Um, let's talk about Zane, your 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 little boy. Yeah. How how is he doing? He's doing. Great. How old is he now? He's four. Yeah. Four. Yeah. He's doing amazing. Like, I'm happy with how he's growing up. I'm happy with every time he's around. He's a he's such a comedian. Mm. He's always trying to say something to make you laugh, and he doesn't even know he's trying to be funny, but he's always funny. Do you see any traits of yours in him? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like what? He's very stubborn. He's very, very stubborn, very stubborn. eh? And very hard-headed. Like, when he decides he wants A, no matter how you twist the A, if you do small A, so if he doesn't like, he mm. wants the A the way he mm. wants it. And mm. I see myself with him mm. a lot. Mm. So, is he staying with you? No, he's not staying with he's me. Not but staying he with you. Occasionally, he comes Thompson to spend the goals. weekend, you know, days. Because mm. mm. I'm seeing him grow up in the way that I, I would want him to grow up. He's growing up to be a handsome, smart young man. And, I mean, I'm super excited with... The whole family. You say take a village to raise a kid, and mm. everybody around him showers him with love, family. So I mean, I'm and super he's, excited. He's happy. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Every time, every mm. time. Mm. 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 Okay, let's look at um, the future. I mean, one of the things that I've always, you know, when I meet musicians, is something that I share. It's not just musicians, even uh, business owners, especially entertainment business owners in this country. You know, there's a very short lifespan yeah. for, for entertainers. entertainers. I don't know if it's just, if it's Ghana, but I mean, yes, let's, let's limit it to Ghana because that's the space we find ourselves. <laughs> Because last, if you look, if you look at last five years, for instance, the kind of musicians we used to jam to, they are not the musicians we are jamming to right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. What is the plan for Kitty? What is your plan, your individual plan, to make sure that you don't get affected by that? Um, so there is no rule book, honestly. There is no manual to say that if I do this, I'll end up like this. Life is full of uncertainties. All we have is the now and what we can do with it to secure a good future. And even that self is still not set in stone. I've learned a lot of things from musicians in the past, you know, that the legends, like, who have made amazing music, they've left, some of them are still alive, but you can tell that money-wise, they are not okay in life. Mm. And they've worked so hard that they should be okay now, they should be, you know, enjoying their retirement now, but that is not the case, you know. And I've been sad about, I always get sad about it because it tells me that we don't have a structure, we don't have a system yeah. in our industry. Yeah. Everybody needs to constantly be like, have a hit song in the system at one point in time. It's like people only remember you or you're only as relevant as your last hit song. Yeah. You can make 10 hit songs in 10 years. Yeah. Nobody remembers the moment the you ones. stop making hit songs, That's it. you have old news. Yeah. And it shouldn't be like that. So for artists, 
the chase for constant hit songs. It makes you wear out quickly because as you want to make hit songs, you are, every day you are releasing hit song, hit song, hit song. Humans are the ones you are singing to. No matter what, a time will come. You will be, yeah, you will be tired. Yeah, we know you are doing amazing. That's why I keep commending people like Sark or the Stone Boy, Shatter, like, I don't know how they've done it. I can only learn to be like them and even do more because like to be in the industry for this long, it's not easy. The sustenance, the consistency, like that's all we pray for because once you're consistent, then you have a long lifespan to keep doing things, keep building something for yourself. So eventually when you retire, you see that you've lived life well and you have something to, you know, mm. enjoy life. But you haven't done you haven't done bad yourself. It's been how many years so far? Um, I'm in my fifth year. You're in your fifth yeah. year. What have you done in your own space to make sure that these five years have been worth worth your while? Um, it's like like I say, taking one day at a time. Because it's good and it helps that I have a good team as well. I have an amazing team because they take off the chunk of the load that I would have to focus on myself. Like as I'm in the studio making music. The same head, I have to go and plan videos shoot the same head, I have to plan promo the same head, I have to, like, I have people that take off that thing from my mind so I can actually focus on making music. And that helps because I can imagine a lot of my artist friends who are independent, they have to take on everything by themselves. And it gets draining at a point, you're human. After four or five years, what break? Mm. You, want, you want to take a break and sometimes people take their break and never come back, you know. But it's good to have a good team around you who are taking the load of doing certain things for you, pushing certain things for you, so you can actually have the sound mind to make the music. Mm. So, mm. Yeah. Mm. I thank God for my team every day. Right, right, right. And about your team, there's also something that, I know you've answered this question several yeah. times on mm. multiple platforms, but are we are we ever going to wake up to the news of, of Kitty not, 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 not being with Lynx anymore? As I said earlier, there's nobody i don't even know what will happen to tomorrow. kitty tomorrow you get me all we can have is the now and right now i'm with them yeah so and that's yeah. what matters yeah, yeah what what is what is the future looking like for you in the next couple of years are we are we going to go to the vgmas next year and have you walk away with the artist of the year is that something that your eyes are no, on dear, i won't even say again because <laughs> Once bitten, twice shot. You know, I won't come and give myself too much vim. Whatever. Right now, I take up with God in hand. No, but it's, it's okay. It's okay to have to have oh, vim. It's, it's, there is good. But and then to put it out there as well. Yeah. Because when you put it out there, yeah. the universe gives it back to you. Exactly. Oh, you don't believe but it. Right now, the America hold on. It's too fresh. <laughs> you know, it's thank you fresh. so much it's for coming, fresh. man. Thank Nana you, Drum. Really it's been a pleasure having you. Thank you. Well, folks, we've been hanging out with Kitty right here on Coffee Break. It's been such an interesting and fun conversation. You know how we do it right here on Coffee Break. Remember, same time next week, we are back with yet another exciting personality. Don't miss out. My name is Harold Amenya. Thanks for watching.